The transportation industry is constantly growing and changing to meet the needs of shippers like you nationwide. Zone skipping service is one of these changes. And for the supply chains it fits, zone skipping can be a highly impactful way to move freight. Does it fit yours? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome to another edition of Beyond the Road. My name is Sam, and today our resident expert is going to answer your top questions about zone skipping. Let's get started. Hi, my name is Mike Zarns, and I'm with ATS Logistics. I'm a sales team manager and have been in the transportation industry for over a decade. In this video, you will learn what zone skipping is, how it can save you money, and whether it fits your supply chain. So what is zone skipping service? To best understand zone skipping, we must first understand LTL. So a real life example of this is maybe you're a retailer and you have a bunch of different stores located all across the state of Minnesota. You need to get a single pallet to each one of those stores. Your shipper is located down in Arkansas, so you're going to ship a full truckload of pallets from Arkansas up to a regional hub in Minnesota. From there, it'll be sorted out onto trucks for last mile delivery, just like an LTL shipment would be. The only difference, you're skipping the cross docking facilities along the way. Two reasons I wouldn't skip the cross docking locations in between are geographic and timeliness. Maybe your freight isn't all delivering to the same geographic vicinity and it needs to go via LTL. The second being timeliness. Say you need one pallet this week, one pallet next, and one pallet in a month, that wouldn't work for zone skipping. That's a better solution for traditional LTL. So zone skipping is most beneficial when shipping to the same geographic region and is timely. How can zone skipping help save me money? By reducing the number of cross docking locations that you're bringing your freight to. With every cross dock location, it increases the likelihood of damage and the likelihood your freight may be lost. This method of shipping can also reduce cost when capacity is tight. The reason being is you only need one truck instead of multiple trucks. There are also fewer transit delays and there's also increased visibility over that truck while in transit. With LTL, things can get pushed back. They're looking to consolidate the freight onto trucks and optimize each truck load with one truck shipping all of your freight from the shipper to that regional DC you're taking away all of those delays along the way. Time always equals money in transportation. So what kind of shippers should be using zone skipping? Shippers that use LTL heavily and have multiple consignees in the same regional vicinity, zone skipping is most heavily used in the retail industry. Shippers that won't find zone skipping helpful, pretty much everybody else. If you don't have timely freight, if your customers are scattered in various geographic areas, then zone skipping might not be the best fit for you. So how do you know whether a transportation service provider is right for you? Check out our free freight brokerage selection checklist. As our expert explained, zone skipping is an excellent tool for shippers who need to move large quantities of LTL freight. And when it's time for rubber to meet the road, zone skipping is a great method for maximizing your supply chain. The transportation industry is full of specialized service offerings just like this created to make your life as a shipper a bit easier. Now that you're a master of zone skipping service, check out our blog on another helpful related service, Multi-Stop Freight Shipping, or fill out the contact form to start the conversation with ATS about getting started with zone skipping in your supply chain. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you found it to be valuable, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell. Thanks again for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you next time on another episode of Beyond the Road.